the second half of this series on what's cool and not so cool about the astral projection and the beyond body. In this part, I'm going to talk about the beyond body and let me start with what is so cool about this. But before I begin this, I want to take just a moment to explain to those of you what the difference is between the beyond body and astral projection. This is something that I have done before in different videos, but I do understand that there may be people listening to this that have not listened to those videos where I've talked about the beyond body and how it came to be. Just really briefly, the beyond body is this thing that I'm still really attempting to figure out. I haven't figured it out yet. What I can tell you is this. There are a few things I can tell you um, in regards to how I feel when it happens and the differences between astral projection and the experience of doing the beyond body. Unlike astral projection, where you feel or where I feel is if I am separating from my body, right? So either I'm popping out of my body or I'm turning out of my body. Unlike that, with the beyond body, when I begin to have the experience, I get the sense that my entire body is moving. So there is no separation. And in the beyond body, when I do arrive in whatever reality or parallel universe that I'm entering, I seem to, and again, the reason why I say I seem to is because this is still, I'm still learning. I am still learning. And this, the things that I'm telling you now, you know, they could be different in another year or two as I continue to evolve and learn about the beyond body. But so far, it seems that I have a physical body when I enter into whatever parallel, parallel universe or reality that I go into. Um, to, the, to the extent, honestly, where I have actually felt things, I've touched things, I've smelled things. It truly feels as if I have a physical presence in the beyond body. And that's the difference. When I'm astral projecting, I don't feel that way. Yes, I'm I'm there when I'm astral projecting. I can feel certain things, but it's just not the same thing as being in the physical. When you're astral projecting, you feel as if you have the ability to be any place in a moment, in a thought, all you'd have to do is think a thought and you could be there. When I arrive in the beyond body, I do feel as if I'm in a physical world and I'm walking around just like I am here in the 3D world. And I don't feel that same feeling as if I could just think something and be somewhere just instantaneously. So, that's the really big difference with the beyond body is that I believe that what's happening to me is I am somehow perhaps occupying different versions of me. My consciousness is, and I'm experiencing things through their eyes or my eyes. <laughs> it's very interesting to think about because honestly, if we are infinite, then there are infinite number of versions of us out there. And theoretically, we may be able to occupy the consciousness of any of those versions of us. But anyway, that is what the beyond body is. So now let me talk about what's really cool about the beyond body and what it really excites me about it. Um, I discovered it um, a few years ago, 
uh, after my hospital stay. And it's been a progression. But the coolest thing about the Beyond Body is the discovery of the fact that there are parallel universes that have different physical laws. This has been so totally interesting to me. Now, I've talked about places, worlds where flight is possible, and I've put out videos like that. But that's not the only thing. That is not the only thing, guys. I've experienced other things, too, and I've put videos out about this. But it hasn't just been flight. I remember there was one experience, and I talked about this. I uploaded this experience as well. But there was an experience I had where I was in this house, right? And in this house, I remember the first thing I saw, I saw this huge long bed, and there was an entire family sleeping in this bed, including an infant child. And I remember that when I saw the baby, I very gently touched the baby. It was one of the first times I actually tried something like this. And I could feel the warmth on this baby's forehead. And yeah, this was a baby. I could feel it. It was the first time that I had actually touched something or one of the first th times that I had actually touched something in a different reality. And it was a very interesting feeling. But the part that was even more interesting to me was when I got outside. So I made my way outside, and as I walked outside, I noticed that there was a house. Not too far away, there was a fence, and I could see a light in the garage door. The garage door was propped open, and I could see this light as if someone perhaps was working on a car or something like that. Well, I heard voices coming from that garage and one of the voices said oh there's one of them now now I didn't realize that that voice was talking about me but not too long after two boys came out of that um fence they went through some sort of uh I don't know some gate or something like that and they confronted me one had a wrench and this person with a wrench threatening threw the wrench at me. I caught the wrench. I took it and I don't know why <laughs> this was totally on instinct. I took the wrench and I bent it, bent it as if it were made of rubber. And honestly, that's what it felt like. I bent it and then I threw it down and the boys backed off immediately and that was it so you have flight you have displays of at times of super strength I have also been able to at times when I felt threatened and I, I've felt threatened a couple of times it's very rare that I've gone to the beyond body and honestly dealt with someone that was necessarily coming at me or perhaps threatening me, but I have experienced it before. And there was one time where these men were kind of coming at me in a threatening way. And I remember that I made a suggestion in my thoughts and I just said sleep. And one of them just fell asleep right there and then. So I, I don't know, guys. It's been very interesting, but I want you to consider something. Consider this. There are all of these movies, stories, uh, tales of superheroes. We know the popular ones, Superman and all of the, the uh, uh, characters, Iron Man and all of the, you know, Marvel characters, the DC characters. I wonder, you know, it seems as if the creators of these comics, they just kind of come up with them. They make it up. 
they create them. But I wonder if they are somehow tapping into something that they understand or that they're connected to. In mythology, doesn't mythology have some basic truths in it? The stories that we tell, yes, they are, um, quote, made up, unquote. But can we consider for a second that perhaps what we think when we're creating something or when those people were creating something, they're figuring they're just making it up. But perhaps they're getting it from something else, some other source that they don't even understand. So that there is truth in what they're doing. In some realities, superheroes and these other beings do actually exist. And in the Beyond Body, I've had a bit of a glimpse of this. So I know there are going to be people that are listening to this also, and I understand this completely, that are going to think, well, no, that's just crazy. I mean, you know, this can't be what it is. And to be honest with you, and I'll be real honest with you, if I hadn't experienced this, if I hadn't gone through it, guys, I don't know if I would believe it myself, but I have, I have experienced it. And this is what has been so cool. And I'm continuing to discover different things, different abilities that one can do when they get into the beyond body. So that's what's really cool about it. What's been a challenge, and (laughs) let me get into what's not so cool, and is very little to me that is not so cool about the beyond body. I think it comes back to fear again. I, I talked about an experience I had where I was in a sort of amusement park, and there were these beings that looked like puppets. I, I'm sure some of you have probably listened to this. Maybe not all of you have. I've always had this fear of, of puppets and things like that. I don't know, ever since I was a little kid. And when I saw these beings walking around, they to me, they, they looked like puppets to me. And it freaked me out. I have seen other beings when I've done the Beyond Body that have looked different and unique. And... One of the things that's not so cool to me and something that has been challenging to me is getting over that sometimes and not really knowing sometimes what you're going to see. And if something you're going to see may look scary to you only if only because, guys, we are, you know, in this world where we are, we have our minds filled with, with movies, scary movies, and we have these ideas of what we think are scary. And when we see things, or when I've seen things out there that may even resemble that, I instantly jump and I think, wow, you know, maybe that is something that could hurt me. But in reality, many times, well, all the times now, when I've seen things like that, when I've later on thought about it and really considered it, I realized that the fear that I have is really truly in me and that the being, let's take the puppet beings or whatever they were, they're not trying to hurt me. They're not trying to hurt me at all. And I'm afraid because I simply don't understand. The other thing that has not been so cool for me is again, going back to this whole thing with invisibility. And I talked about it with astral projection, but there are times in the beyond body where I have been invisible and no one has been able to see me when I'm walking around and I've actually called out. And again, I've done videos with this where I've actually, you know, I share these experiences where I'll say to people, hey, hey, and I'll be waving my hand and they won't see me. And this may be because even though I have some physical form, I may be vibrating at a frequency that's so high that they're not able to see me. So 
as I said, I am still learning, guys. I am still evolving with this beyond body thing. Um, and with astral projection, I'm continuing to learn. But these are just a few of the things that I find cool and not so cool about the beyond body and about astral projection. Anyway. This, again, went longer than I thought it was going to go. Thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. And until next time, take care.